We've heard the symptoms of COVID-19 can sometimes be confused with the cold or flu, the dry cough, fever, and shortness of breath. So what does COVID-19 do to our bodies? Good question. Here's Heather Brown, who met her expert outside of Regions Hospital today. Seth is currently quarantined in his home in Rome. For CBS News correspondent Seth Doan, the symptoms have been mild. I've had a little bit of a cough. I had a, a relatively mild fever. We take the droplets in, then what happens? Then um, some of it we may actually swallow and some of it we breathe in. Dr. Keely Ham is a critical care and lung specialist at Regions. There are receptors both in the um, guts and in the lung that that COVID virus can attach to and start using the machinery of the cells. So the virus starts replicating itself exactly. using our lung cells exactly, and our gut cells. In many viruses, including influenza, the whole body gets inflamed. I had kind of weird aches and pains in places I'm not used to. But with COVID-19, the lungs also sometimes take a direct hit. Something that's a little bit different with this particular virus is that it's also causing direct injury to the lung cells. And those are the people that we're seeing in the intensive care unit. And what is causing the damage to the lung cells? What's happening? Um, nobody's quite sure yet. You know, a lot of this is still under investigation. We've been told about the symptoms. Patients may also feel shortness of breath. That inflammatory response causes our body to increase its metabolism, and we correct for that by breathing faster. The other thing, the fever, what causes the fever? Yeah, it's the body's response to inflammation. Your body creates fever to let us know that something's not right. Most people recover just fine. They don't suffer the lung damage, and their white blood Blood cells eat up the virus. I've been up, uh, able to talk with people. But a small percentage need a respirator to help them breathe. The lung starts to fill up more with fluid instead of having oxygen. And so when that fluid builds up, the oxygen can't cross over the lung tissue into the bloodstream. Our other organs can't get the oxygen. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and we just start to see organ damage from the inflammation. There is definitely a large component of those who do die have underlying illness. They don't have the reserve and they can't kind of step up and fight this the same way that you or I hopefully can. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. As for why the virus seems to affect older people more, the doctor says that's still under investigation. It could be those underlying conditions, but it could also be that kids and young people have more antibodies, antibodies that identify those abnormal cells and those cells then fight them off. If you have a good question for Heather, just email it by going to wcco.com links.